Yo, what's going on YouTube? It's your boy Mushroom bringing you guys another video, guys. In today's video, we're going to give you guys the best tips in the start of Season 4, guys. This is going to work out. It's going to help a lot of you guys get more victory rails and get better at the game because there has been a few changes in Season 4 that can affect your gameplay. So, guys, stay tuned. Stick around. Watch the video. Give this video a thumbs up, guys. Let's try to break 300 likes on this video. I know you guys can do it. It'll be awesome if you guys can do it. But with that being said, let's get into the video. So season four just had an update that was massive, you guys. I mean, we got new landing spots, the meteor hit the map, and everything's just changed a little bit. Like Tilted Towers is not the same Tilted Towers that we all used to love and all that. It got hit by a meteor, and Dusty Depot just got murdered by the biggest meteor ever. So that place is a new landing spot that a lot of people like to go. And with all these new spots in the map, like the the evil villain layer, the the superhero layer, all these new spots, the movie theaters in Wailing Woods and stuff like that, and all that stuff, these places people really want to go to because it's the start of the season they want to just check out the map they want to explore they want to see what's new within the game they want to just see everything in the game that they've added so with that being said now's the perfect chance for you to actually go try hard and get some victory royale so guys if you land at dusty divot expect a lot of people to be there uh just at the start of the season and it's going to be a lot easy to get kills there because if you think about it there's not that much loot there the loot there is kind of weak i mean it's not the best loot in the world it's kind of like a dusty depot loot like it's just not the best in the world now there is some pretty good loot there so if you can actually work on landing there before anyone else you can actually find yourself getting a lot of kills in the game now when it comes to landing dusty divot is a very low location so you guys are going to have to drop out of the battle bus pretty early you don't want to do it like like around the top area of the location because that's just not going to help you guys out you're going to end up landing there really late everyone's going to have a weapon already you need to literally land pretty far away from it go straight down and then take your parachute in from wherever you open up your chute that's when you need to push forward and go all the way in you're trying to land there literally right at the second that you drop like literally the second you make it over that fence you're landing right at a weapon you got to learn where the weapon locations are you guys a lot of people like to go where the little space rocks are where they can have these super powers and jump and stuff but that's not the move you guys if you get the space rocks and you end up jumping into the the fight and stuff like that you're literally going to have a space rock only everyone's going to have a weapon everything's going to be looted because there's not that much loot there to the point where you're going to just die so just going out to a space rock is not the move if you don't get a good landing and you land way far from the map get a space rock and just dip out of there that's my best suggestion i don't suggest you actually getting a space rock and then going into the little city trying to fight it and all that stuff because you're just not going to win it you guys need to land where a weapon is if you see a shotgun try your best to get there if you see somebody lower than you and you see them going for that weapon you need to find a new spot you got to memorize where all these little weapon locations are because they all have the same spawn location every time sometimes they'll spawn there sometimes it won't so if you see people landing there before you at the location you wanted to go to try to find an alternate route go to a different weapon that you want to go to don't try to sit there and try and fight it because he's obviously going to get the weapon and kill you but if you do get there before them guys i promise you if you can find a shotgun you're going to get a lot of kills because you're going to find yourself killing people with no weapon a lot of the time now when you you get the shotgun it's time to rock and roll guys literally the second you get the shotgun like you're watching in the gameplay in the background you've watched it you gotta go for headshots i know you you're not gonna get that much ammo because there's not that much loot here there's not that much ammo boxes maybe they're gonna be adding new things within the game but for now right now there's not that much loot there so you're going to have to conserve your weapon your ammo and all that stuff so if you find suppressed smgs pick it up pick up everything that you possibly can because there's not that much loot worry about your inventory later first off you need to do what you need to do is take over that city you need to kill everyone there and then you can worry about what you can keep and what you need to drop the reason i'm saying this is because you're going to get one shotgun you're going to see probably like six people literally running around with no weapons so when you see that happening that's the chance to actually kill these people but you want to get headshots shots on them because if you don't get headshots you're literally going to take three shots to the body with a tactical submachine gun or a tactical shotgun and you're going to not kill them you know it's going to take three shots to kill them and you could have used those three bullets to kill three different people so that's why headshots are huge you guys plus you don't want to take any damage so if you're in a gunfight with somebody and you you're literally going for body shots only they're literally going to have a chance to get your health low enough so that way the next person you get into a fight with is going to kill you you really want to just eliminate them right away you guys you want to go for the headshot kill them there 
and that's it. Don't worry about them. Keep your health all the way up and move on to the next person, lo next location. And if you guys are curious why this gameplay has a webcam in it and it's not like synced up with my voice, it's because guys, all these gameplays I got, I pulled from my live stream, you guys. I live stream probably like five hours a day over at twitch.tv slash exotic motion. So if you guys want to come over there, hang out, talk a little bit, get some tips and tricks over there, try to get some victory rounds over there. Guys, come on through, hang out. The link will be in the description below. But with that being said, now that we have the city taken over and we won, we killed everyone there, we're probably going to come out with a lot of kills, not that much health, not that much loot. So now what we need to do is instead of staying there because that is literally a death trap, you guys. If you're just going to sit there, you're just going to literally just die. You're not going to end up winning the game. That's because it's a death trap. A lot of people are trying to go there and see what, what's new there and all that stuff. So what you need to do is once you don't hear anyone there and you killed everyone and you got whatever you need out of it, go find a space rock, take that space rock and dip out of there. Go to the next city. Go to Salty Springs or something like that. Greasy Grove. Dip out of there and go to actually Dusty Depot and actually check out the, the loot that might be there. There's not that much loot there either, but still, you need to get out of that crater location because that, that location right there, if you stay there, you're going to find yourself getting in a fight with not just one person, but literally eight people are going to pull up on you because you're going to be in a gunfight with one other person. Once you win that fight, it's not even going to be two seconds until another person pulls up, pulls up and shows up and actually starts shooting you. So you're not going to have time to heal. You're not going to have mats. You're not going to have any of that. And the thing that sucks about Dusty Divot is there's no mats there, you guys. There's nothing there that you can actually farm to get materials or anything like that. So it is going to make it a lot harder. So landing at this location, it's fun and all. It's good to get high kills. But after you take it over, you, you really got to learn how to dip out of there. You got to go to a new location, try to find better materials, try to find better weapons and stuff like that because a lot of people don't end up getting good weapons there it's, you're only usually getting like basic tactical sh shotguns or pump shotguns or suppressed SMGs or basic assault rifles or anything like that so again you want to get out of there as quick as possible get far away from that location as possible because like I said at the start of the video it's a new location so people from like retail row tilted towers who knows anywhere around the map that's kind of close to this location after they take over their city they're gonna be like oh hey let me go check out this new map let me go check out what's cool about there I want to get one of the space rocks I want to play with it so a lot of people are gonna go over there plus they're gonna hear gunshots and they're gonna gonna try and take it over after you just took it over now one thing you're gonna notice after you end up winning dusty divot if you do win it there's only gonna be like 30 to 20 people left there's not gonna be that many people left in the game that's i don't know what it is about it but a lot of people are dying off extremely early after this update so that's a good thing though because now that the people are dying off early you took over the city and there's only 30 people left now it just comes down to the top 25 top 30 situation which is going to be a different game changer you guys so if you guys want to learn some more tips and tricks in the top 30 situation make sure to subscribe to the channel give the video a thumbs up the more likes we get the more support that you guys show and i will bring you guys more tips and tricks every day but those are the best tips that i can give you guys with the new season update you guys make sure you actually use these tips if you're landing at dusty divot be ready for exactly everything that i said make sure you're landing at a weapon early make sure you're getting out of there early and make sure you're picking up everything that you possibly can guys again Thank you so much for all the love and support, but for the last minute of the video, I want to talk to you guys. In the comment section below, I really want to know your guys' opinions. How do you like Season 4? Because in, in my Twitch live stream, some people are, are a little biased about it. They're like, no, I don't know. Season Some people like Season 3 better than Season 4. Like, even CDM the Third said Season 3 skins are better than Season 4. What's your guys' opinion on that? Honestly, I'm going to give you mine. I love Season 4. Season 4 update is awesome. It feels like a new game again. I'm happy. I, I feel like, a, like I'm playing a brand new game. Like, I can play this game for hours again because the update there's new things in the game now keep that in mind season three did have amazing skin the astronaut skins the space skins all that stuff the uh the flames shooting out of your thing when you're flying down all that stuff was very exciting i remember the excitement when that happened but this game there's still just as much excitement because it, it does suck the skin does suck the superhero at the beginning and the very end of the season the skins are kind of like plain and boring and skinny and ugly but guys that's that's not the you're not looking at the bigger picture guys once you get that skin you get to level it up and put on armor on the skin you guys that is crazy to think about like if you see the skins when they're fully decked out with armor it looks amazing you guys i'm almost there i literally have a few more levels and then i get the helmet and then my guy's almost pretty much decked out then the next thing is is to get the glowing effect on my character but with everything the the helmet the chest plate the arm plate the uh the leg plate all that stuff and then the glowing effect added to it guys i promise you 
the skin is going to look amazing. It's just people aren't giving it a chance, you know? You got to wait a little bit, level your character up a little bit, and then once you see that armor and stuff happening, that's when you're going to be like, holy crap, that does look sick. But when he doesn't have armor, I'm going to agree with you guys 100%. The, the characters are kind of a little whack, you know? It's nothing special. Um, We got, like, spray paint people. I mean, I'm not really too much of a fan of spray painting people. They could have been just added into the game. They didn't have to be in the seasonal thing. I was kind of wishing that Season 4 was going to be all superheroes. We're going to get nothing but but superheroes but they did implement like some other things into the season four which yeah i agree with you guys i wasn't happy about that but again what they did give us for season four i am still pretty happy about that but guys again let me know down in the comment section below your opinion on that with that being said i am doing a free giveaway on season four if you have not bought season four yet and you want season four all you got to do is watch the video in the top of the link in the description below you guys that video will explain to you how you're going to have a chance to get season four for free you guys so i know a lot of people haven't experienced it yet they haven't been able to get anything in the battle pass because they just don't have enough money and i understand so i'm going to help you guys out make sure to watch that video it's going to be awesome the giveaway is actually happening tomorrow so make sure you watch it right now stay tuned and enjoy guys thank you so much for all the love and support again 300 likes on the video that'd be awesome and i'll see you guys in tomorrow's video peace